Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d and in this tutorial we're going to be creating this twisted scene of destruction, as if there's a spaceship that's been recently blown up. I'm using this shot as part of an animated short film that I'm creating, so if you want to keep up to date with that, subscribe. Really helps me out, um, it really supports the channel, and I'm trying to hit that goal of 25,000, which I'm ever so close! <laughs> In the previous video, we used some of my kit bashing assets and we twisted it so that it's kind of like twisted metal as if it was an accident or a crash or an explosion. And in the next video, there's gonna be kind of um, a battle scene in between all these objects. So once again, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Now let's jump over into the tutorial and we'll go from there. So we've got our, all our assets. There's a few extra assets in here where I kind of grabbed the ship and I kind of cut it up. If you want to know how to do that, leave a comment below. And here we've got all these assets where we've warped these panels and these pipes. And if you want to know how to do that, check the previous video. So let's go Shift S Cursor to World Origin. We'll put that in the center over here. I'm going to press Shift A Mesh and I'm going to add a UV sphere, a little bit small. So let's go Scale 10 and a little bit more. Rotate on the Y axis, 90 degrees. Scale Y, sorry, Scale X to kind of like elongate that. Then I press Control A to apply the scale. From here, we need to go ahead and make a particle effect. So let's select on particles, press the plus sign. I wanna spawn the particles all at the same time. So frame one start and frame one end, enter. A thousand particles, probably let's bring it down to 200, then we can increase it later. Lifetime, I'm just gonna make this 5,000 or 50,000. And these particles will stay around for 50,000 frames. So we can see what we're actually doing. We need to come into the object display here into instancing and where it says show instancer, we're going to change that to, well, sorry, untick viewport. Wham, bam, thank you, man. We can see all our little bitty, bitty pieces. Now, the th next thing I want to do is I want to use all those other pieces. So if we have a look over here, this is sitting in Greeble Kai. So let's select our sphere again, come over into the particle settings plus sign to create a new particle system. Um, the previous particle system is 001, so let's go back and select 001, but I'm going to duplicate this because it's got all our settings that we need. Let's change the seed number, and we're going to come into render settings, take that out, and put in Greeble Guy. All right. From here, what else we need to do is tick rotation, and we'll expand that, and we will increase randomness, and we'll make that dynamic. We will also go into scale randomness. We'll increase to one, and I might just increase the size there. Let's do the same stuff for our other particle system, uh, particle setting, sorry. Rotation, turn that on, randomness up, dynamic, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Scale randomness, yes, please, and make that a little bit bigger. Um, because it's made a whole bunch of stuff a little bit smaller, I might increase, not this one, I might increase the other particle settings. So where were we? Here we go. And I'm going to increase all that. And maybe we might even give it a little bit extra junk, 1000. And so if you have a look, we've got all this junked pieces all in here. Now, if I go to render settings, I've already created the world material. There we go. So we can see our field of stars. We don't have a sun. So I'm going to press shift A. Let's add in the light. Let's go sun. Let's rotate that around, G, bring that over there. And you can just see kind of like how cool this star field is. Obviously these pieces are really big. And if I were to press play, everything falls to the ground. That is not what we want. So at frame one, everything spawns. Let's select our sphere, go back into the particle settings and we're gonna go into field weights, turn the gravity down, select our other particle system, system sorry, gravity down. So when we press play, they kind of all drift apart. That's not what we want. So let's go into velocity because it's spawning with a velocity of one. Let's change that to zero. And we'll do that for the other particle settings. So now we free press play, nothing happens. You little ripper, that's what we're after. From here, what I'm gonna do is I want to make some sort of movement. So I'm gonna press shift A and let's create a force field and we will make a vortex. And if I kind of scale that up, and if we were to press play, you can see that everything kind of spins around. That's not the way I want it to spin. I actually want it to spin on the Y axis like that. So let's go back to the start. So that's the way I kind of want it to spin. 
um, if we go into the force field settings, size, sorry, that's the wrong one. This one here is the physics tab. Flow, oh, maybe 0.05. So let's go to the start. How's that looking? Ever so slightly. That might even be too much, 0.02. You little ripper. Nice. Okay. But let's give it some extra love as well. So I'm going to do Shift A, add a force field, and we are going to add in a turbulence. And that turbulence seems a little bit too big. I'm going to increase the scale again so we can see it. And strength, maybe go 0.1. There we go. So we've got it rotating around, and then there'll be pieces moving. Let me just go into display. And I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, wow. Now in the next part of the video, we're going to create a ship that's going to be kind of flying through this debris, kind of having a bit of a space battle. So if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps update my content.